for worship. I don't seek for worship. I seek to destroy the works of the devil. I don't seek for worship. I seek to destroy diseases, afflictions, and demonic, diabolic activities of the devil in my generation. Don't take this demonstration of the spirit for granted. Doctors will tell you that prevention is better than cure. Some of you want to have cancers to get healed. Some of you want to be involved in accident or in ICU for a miracle to happen. Let me tell you something. What I'm doing now will exempt you from any tragedy. Check it. See, see the angels. I, I release the sight to see an angel. You want your spiritual eyes opened? Now, see, 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 see. Two angels have appeared. That's my dimension. I'm a custodian of this realm, whether you like it or not. I've come to be a son of God. Take this note. I am not Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm not the savior. I'm not the God, but I'm his son. And I'm proud to tell you that. Because the sons of the devil are manifesting, taking charge of the world, ruling the world, making the laws, destroying humanity, creating viruses, killing people, sacrificing lives, controlling the medical science, controlling everybody. People are dying every day. And you're here thinking that I will not manifest. I will manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus said, greater works shall I do. So keep your religion behind you. I will never take the place of Yahweh. But I'm proud to say I am his full grown son. I don't seek for worship. I don't seek for worship. I seek to destroy the works of the devil. I don't seek for worship. I seek to destroy diseases, afflictions, and demonic, diabolic activities of the devil in my generation. Because Jesus will not destroy it. We will. The authority is with us. If we do nothing, darkness will control our world. If we do nothing, darkness will ruin the entire world. It's not Christ has done his own part. The darkness in our community can only be stopped through the sons of God. The problem is that we, we are calling on Jesus every day. Oh God, bring revival. Oh God, bring deliverance in our community. Oh God, oh God, oh, from year to year, you've been praying, nothing has happened. You know why? Because the authority to bring the change is in you. That is all I'm trying to wake up. And I will wake it up. I don't care what they will say. I will not careless. Look at him with her high near dying. Just one touch. One just simple touch. It's gone. Who is it that should destroy this? Sons of God. I, I'm telling you. So, so, Jesus is so proud. Did he not give his disciples power? And he sent them. When they couldn't heal a certain young boy, he rebuked them and called them vipers. Say, you wicked generation, how long have, have I been with you? You can't handle this case. Is, are you okay? He was angry that they couldn't cure something. Jesus was angry with his disciples for not curing a disease. I don't know if, you, if somebody's getting me. He was angry. He rebuked them publicly. To you wicked generation, how long will I be with you? Lift your hands up. Go in power. Go in power. Go in authority. Cast the devils. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cast the devils. Um, I remember dreaming the past two days that I was like someone to to go um to to go back um for money and food 
it's the, on the streets at the robots. After that, I woke up. I haven't been feeling the same. This the same. I haven't been sleeping well ever since. Um, for instance, last night I didn't even sleep. I couldn't even connect to my sleep. And while I was sitting down there, I could feel that there's something that says, if I speak or if I say something, I'm definitely gonna die. That's when Baba called the case of someone that dreamt the, as if she was she was dying. I just want to thank Papa. I want to thank Mama for standing in the gap for us in Cape Town. I thank you. I thank you for saying yes to hearing the voice of the Lord and to follow the instructions of the Almighty to come to Cape Town just for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. I don't know what I would have been without you, Lord, without you sending Pastor John and Pastor Hollandsy. Thank you. Life is not to be wasted. If things like this, if you have a man of God that can see through your life or the events that are about to happen or things that are about to take you, just follow Jesus. Don't waste time. Don't waste your life because uh, things are happening outside. It's real. It's real. I feel that I've been blessed. For me, I feel holding on to his truth and to his promise. It's life. It's the way to go. Knowing that his promises are forever and amen. I will cling. I will hold on until he comes. Ooh, until Jesus comes. Ooh. Today, I felt much more calmer. I felt the Holy Spirit today. I'm healed. I'm visiting Spirit Revelation Ecclesia and um, it's been an awesome experience coming here every time. Um, we've been coming here since last year, uh, visiting um, the services here. And um, I've actually been diagnosed with a heart condition. Um, previously, Pastor did pray for me also for, for that. Um, and the doctors are actually confused. They, they can't understand why it's not getting worse actually because they told me it's very very bad um, the condition that I have and um, I've got an overgrown heart according to the doctor so um, the last time I was there the doctor didn't know what to tell me because she said to me the results are aren't the same as what it was the first time um, and I'm very grateful for that um, for, for pastor for the prayers and um, also for the service here. Yeah, um, the service is just awesome. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God, Pastor John Anosike, is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 622-67035048, Branch, Woodstock, Branch Code, 250655, Swift Code, FIRNZA, JJ Building Project Banking Details City of Sons Bank First National Bank FNB Account Name New World Faith Ministries Account Number 
623-569-03578. Branch code 250655. Branch Woodstock. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via PayFast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 1170 zero two zero seven five three bank zenith bank please note that the following is our official and only paypal email for the ministry donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus two seven six three four two three five eight nine five or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org